Hey everybody, it's Emily from Emily Turner Tutorials, and today we're going to talk about how to download files from WeTransfer. I sent someone some files a little while ago, and they just asked me how to download the files that I sent them through WeTransfer. So if you've ever gotten files from somebody and didn't know how to download them, we're going to go through how to do this together. If you have the initial email from them, you can scroll down to where it says get your files and click on that. If clicking on that button doesn't work, you can always use the download link as well. Clicking on either the link or the button will send you to WeTransfer transfers website where you'll be able to download your files. Over on the left hand side you'll see a box with the option to download the files that were sent to you. Go ahead and click download and then you'll see them start to download up in the top right hand side of your screen. Another place you can find the downloads is in the download section on your finder window. If you're working on a PC instead, you'll go to the download section in your files. If you don't have the original email that was sent to you through WeTransfer, but the person who sent you the email has forwarded the notification email letting them know that the transfer is about to expire, you can instead scroll down to where it says download link on their email, click on the link and your web browser will open with a section on the left hand side asking you to download the files. Depending on if you have a Mac or a PC, the files will either be sent to the downloads in your finder window or the downloads in your download section of your files. And that is how you download files from WeTransfer. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.